champions, let's talk about hitting more winners, okay? We, it's too often we talk about more spin and all the other things, but winners also play a big role. If you can't hit a winner, you can't finish a point. I'm gonna give you three tips. The first one is you are trying too hard, okay? When it comes to winner, oftentimes you gotta understand that it is a result of moving well. It is a result of having good technique. So what you need to do is, when it comes to winners, sometimes it comes automatically, okay? It's a byproduct of doing the things well. So when you play tennis and you're trying to be more aggressive, don't overdo it, don't force it. Understand that if you do the right things, more often than not, the winners will come automatically. Let's move on. Second tip is if you're gonna be aggressive and you're going for winners, um, when you go for a flat out winner, go cross court, more often than not. The court's a lot bigger when you're going for cross court winners. Down the line, I would, yes, is there time for down the line winners? Of course, when the player is all the way outside of the court. But down the line, I would recommend you using more for approach shots. If you're going for an outright winner, the cross court is a lot better, why? Because the court's bigger, the net's lower, and you can get more angle, okay? If you get more angle, you can hit it away from the opponent. If you're not gonna hit a winner and you're unsure and if it's gonna be a winner when you're coming forward, then you always go down the line. Because if you're gonna hit the ball cross court, then come to the net and it's not a winner, the player will definitely pass you. Outright winner, always cross court. Let me show you a couple. More to the cross court, across the court. More I go across the court, better my chances of hitting a winner. Okay. This one, inside out, inside out, across the court. This one over there. There we go. You can see what I did there, I was being very aggressive. It's a risky shot. But wherever the ball is in the court, I'm trying to go across the court. Whether it's a forehand cross court or a forehand inside out, I'm going across the court. If it's a backhand, I want to go across the court. That way my chances are better of making the ball. And if I get it, it will pull the opponent out. One more brilliant tip guys, if you want to hit more winners, is, is being unpredictable. And one way to be unpredictable is to have a good disguise. So if I have my forehand, you want to get to a stage where you're turning in a way where from this turn, I can go down the line or I can go cross court. So if your cross court and your down the line can look very similar, and then you can score a lot of winners like that as well. Same on the back end, proper turn, and you should be able, this is more advanced, but you should be able to go down the line, cross court easily from the same turn. I'm gonna give you some demos on the forehand quick, and then see if you can see me looking almost the same even when I change direction. That's a great tip for you um, to get more winners without trying as well, disguise. So I'm trying to look exactly the same when I'm going down the line or cross. Changing directions, but I'm trying to look exactly the same before I hit it. Change direction, but I'm looking exactly the same. One more. Example of how you can use your forehand and your forehand looking almost identical, but you can change direction right at the end. You'll get a lot of free winners using the, your disguise forehand or backhand like that. Okay guys, but I wanna warn you though, you cannot hit winners if you're not consistent. The first thing you wanna do is, uh, is actually like and subscribe to my channel. Please guys, you support me like that. But before you hit any winners, you have to be consistent. And I've got a video that's gonna help you get immediately five times more consistent on the screen right now.